Why do your headphones sound better with some devices than others? And what are the best open back headphones for under 50 bucks? This is Sound Off Q&A for March 2015. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook and welcome to Sound Off Q&A, a monthly show where we answer your audio questions and I predict the future. I predict that in the comments for this very video, someone is going to ask us to review a pair of headphones. Long shot, I know. Anyway, let's start aing some cues. Our first question comes from a forum member who wants to know, what are the best open back headphones for under 50 bucks? To be honest, I don't know of many options under 50, but I do know of some good ones for around 50. We haven't had a chance to test them, but a lot of people recommend the Tackstar HI 2050s, which sell for just over 50 at $52. Others recommend the Superlux HD 668B, which sell for a little more around 70. Now my recommendation is a little pricier, but they sure are nice. The Grado SR60E and SR80E both sell for around $90 and are excellent headphones. The only difference is that the SR60 are on-ear and the SR80 are over-ear. Feel free to share your favorite cheap open back picks in the comments below. Our next question is similar, but thriftier. What's a good pair of over-ears for 20 bucks or less? My pick is a pair of headphones we've covered quite a bit on sound guys the Monoprice 8323s, which is also what the first reply in the YouTube comments for that question was. There's a reason we talk about these so much, they really are that good. Other decent options are the Sennheiser HD 201s and the venerable Koss Porta Pros. Again, if you've got your own recommendations, we'd love to hear them, let us know below. This next question was originally more specific, but I decided to generalize it to avoid starting a flame war in the comments below. Basically, it's why do headphones sound better on one device, let's say a phone, than they do on another device, let's say another phone. Now there could be a few things going on here. First, you've got to keep in mind that anything you plug headphones into has a built-in amp to power those headphones. These can vary and it's possible that whether it's to save battery life or for another reason, some devices have lower power headphone amps. Most modern phones assume that you're going to be using earbuds and build their headphone amps accordingly. A lot of headphones know this and are built with that in mind, but some aren't. The other factor here is just the quality of the headphone amp. Some simply sound better than others, providing cleaner sound with less distortion. Generally, the headphone amp in any phone isn't going to hold a candle to a dedicated headphone amp, but that doesn't mean you can't see a drastic difference in the quality between two phones. Next up, a commenter wanted to know, which is the better sub $100 pair of headphones for studio use? The Audio-Technica ATH-M40X or the Grado SR80E? Well, that all depends. The ATH M40X are closed back, so if you're using the headphones for tracking, recording that is, especially somewhere you'll have a lot of mics around and don't want any leakage, these are a good pick. On the other hand, if you're mixing and aren't going to use these headphones around microphones, the open back SR80Es might provide better imaging. And that's great for getting the perfect stereo imaging in a mix. Basically, it all comes down to your use case. But in a pinch, the ATH M40X are probably going to be more useful in more situations. Our final question is for me, about me. And it is, am I an audiophile? Looking at the basic definition of audiophile as someone who's enthusiastic about sound, then yeah, I've been a musician since I was a kid, built a home studio in my basement, and I've done live sound for more shows than I can count. The problem is that definition is starting to change. These days it seems like unless you're spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars on improving your setup for increasingly diminished returns, you're not a true audiophile. By that definition, I'm no audiophile and I wouldn't want to be. You know what, in the end, it really doesn't matter. I'll let you guys fight over that one if you want. I'll be over there listening to music. And those are the questions for this month, everybody. Got a question of your own? Then ask away. If you want to make sure we see it, head over to our forums and leave the question there. Plus, that way, even if we don't answer your question, a forum member might have an answer for you. And that's it for this one, everybody. Want to stay caught up with everything sound, guys? Then sign up for our newsletter. A link is down in the description. Like the video, let us know, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Chris Wook. Thanks for watching.